Hello guys and welcome back to episode 5 of our slow and immersive Finland playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 Arms Against Tyranny. We have been the subject of declaration of war by the Soviet Union in the last episode. However, what actually happened uh, upon a bit further investigation is that it is this Union of Soviet Republics that actually declared war on us, fighting an offensive war against us. The Soviet Union proper hasn't actually declared war on us just yet. So we're safe for now. Kind of an odd development, but nevertheless, we are actually okay for now, which gives us time to sort out our logistics situation. White Finland rejects Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum to the government of White Finland, demanding border adjustments in the region of Karelia. Despite a significant buildup of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, stating that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willingly to the Russian aggressors. International observers fear that a Soviet invasion may be imminent. We must see to our defenses. Okay, I'm not sure if this is bugged or what, but um, to the extent possible, let's try to sort out some divisions. The dawn of the German Empire Congress. Willem II announced today that German, the German Empire has reached out to form a new alliance. The German Empire Congress have made public their intent to cooperate in the case of war. Although great coalitions can deter against aggression, we've seen the consequences they bring when conflict does arise. The intentions of the different parties joining in this new alliance is still debatable, but what purpose it may end up serving may be unknown even to its instigators. Will this lead to eternal peace or another war? German Empire is part of the German Empire. I'm not really sure what that meant, to be honest. Union of Soviet Socialist Republic of Europe and Asia and the German Empire in the same German Empire Congress. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Not really sure how that's going to work. They might. Can they even sail around and help them? But, I mean, anything that uh, delays the uh, Soviet Union is good for us. And it's time to actually have a look at the logistics situation. Okay, let's... Construction. Railway. The Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia has called the German Empire as our enemy in Soviet Finnish war. Hang on a second. What is going on? We're now at war with Germany. To, uh, first of all, let's stop training. And one of these needs to get to Allant to defend that territory. And otherwise, oh, we need to get our divisions off of this front line and defending here. Because they will land, right? That's the only way they can get to us. God. That's not what we need right now. Okay, these forts can wait. Let's build up this railway. And these. How much does a railway cost? 170 only, okay. 
So this should work, guys. So we put some supply hubs and some railways. Hopefully that will get built fairly quickly. However, our main concern is now German German invasion on this coast. And I guess the way to counteract that is to what? Grab some and our few divisions and just sign them here. Which means we now need 18 divisions here. Hmm. Okay, we're doing fine on all the production and so this research. We just need to make sure the Germans can't land. Germany at war again. Although many have wished for a long-lasting peace in Europe, a recent turn of events has left Germany on the path to war once again. Despite clearly violating the Treaty of Versailles, German troops have mobilized and are ready to go on their offense. German officials state that they will no longer keep the Rhineland demilitarized, arguing the need to protect German citizens in their area. It's maybe the beginning of another great war. God. We don't have any allies at all. Norway. Finally gone fascist. They haven't actually gone fascist. No, they're still democratic. Fine, but... Uh, yeah. Put some proper uh, proper officer fortress buster no winter specialist trickster trickster commando mountaineer no brilliant strategist axel iro organizer winter specialist 
Axel Arrow is a good one. Ranger. Veteran Jaeger, Inflexible Strat, Defense Logistics. This guy is a Ranger, Veteran Jaeger, and Infantry Officer. Mm, fine, maybe he'll actually do alright. Click on our Field Marshal. Defensive Doctrine. Winter. We'll have one more available trade. The Winter Expert. And our Field Marshal trades. The Rangers. Unyielding Defender. Defense plus 10. We need unyielding. We're gonna be defending a lot here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Almina! Almina! Let's do an assign from this army. And let's. Yes, Gustav! Yes, Gustav! Transported. Logistics fulfillment trains needed twelve and stockpile seven. Oh dear, we're not even producing any trains. Good. We need one more military factory urgently. Let's make sure this one is transported and we'll send it back to. up oh, we need to take off production military factory I needed 10 so yes we need a lot more trucks in stockpiles convoys needed okay we got the foreign aircraft now Sinky air defense national aircraft production 50 Research bonus for aircraft. So we'll effect build two, all of the following pilot training as well, and then we'll give us two military factories. One size, one size gain. Oh, okay, this is good. Air experience plus 25, modify finish air force by bad weather, ace generation air home, 50% reduction for air doctrine. Okay, so these are good. We're actually. 35, 70, 70. This will give us two military factories. That's good. Or we could go here. Do we need this? Could. We need more units. We need more units right now. ASAP. Let's do. Take over the Sui Luskunta. The Sui Luskunta has acted as an auxiliary force of reservists. We're going to be called upon to help defend the nation in a time of crisis. If we bring the organization under our control, we could utilize it to indoctrinate thousands to our cause. Let's do this so that we get those extra units. Because we need extra units urgently. Not sure how Germany's could go through Sweden, could it? And how on earth, how on earth did we end up with this war, which we can't even end ourselves because we can't actually attack the Soviet Union properly? Okay, let's just have a look. Um. 
need to build trains and airplanes urgently. in 1940 hmm. 100 naval convoy raider battle results oh. lost two convoys from by U boats. Oh. Okay, this is not good. We need. Okay, we're still producing new convoys, so that's fine. We'll let's do basic small airframe. In recent years, a number of new technologies has emerged, allowing for the construction of very capable yet small planes. The airframe represents just the first step on that road. Fine, we will build that. And these two will go to the infantry equipment, and this one we'll see. Yes, okay, we still turn one, two, three, four, five, six. What do we have here? Heavy cruisers and submarines. Yeah, what we actually need is uh, naval bombers. Our snipers are proving highly effective. Reports have come that our snipers are proving highly effective at fighting of enemy forces intruding to, into our forests. It's a good opportunity for war propaganda as the term white death has been propping up among enemy soldiers, referring to the dangers posed by Finland's nature and people. And we could pin this to a certain person to rally the population if one happens to prop up. Erino Minen gain base war support plus 2%, political power plus 10. We should hand out more arms to hunters. Gain base war support plus 2. 1000 units of Finnish infantry equipment is removed from the national stock. Our snipers become more deadly. Let's do that. Nordic Defense Council invites us to the Nordic Defense Council. As the world braces for the Inevitable clash between the major European powers and Nordic countries risk getting trampled in the ensuing onslaught. The Nordic government is suffering. The Nordic government is suggesting that we as the Nordic countries form a unified army so that we together can form a more cohesive defense. We have other plans. It's event against puppet. Nordic Defense Council gets puppet focus against White Finland. Or we will join as integrated council members and Nordic Defense Council gets event White Villain joins the Nordic Defense Union White Villain becomes a puppet of Nordic Defense Council but Finland becomes Nordic Defense Council member joins Nordic Defense Council and centralized Nordic army which grants division organization minus 30 division attack we have other plans then God, the Nordic countries are on top of us as well. What is going on? Hacker. And convoy. Okay, they're going to be sinking a lot of our convoys, but we have a lot of convoys ourselves. Let's cancel that sail. Remove. Returns Danzig. The Polish government has accepted the German proposal for the return of Danzig in exchange for military guarantees. A treaty has been drawn up, assuring the Poles that the Germans will come to their aid in the event of any hostilities committed against them. But the price has been high, once more entirely cutting off the Poles from the sea. 
it may well have been worth it in light of the communist threat in the east. A beneficial deal for both? We'll see. Wow, okay, they're getting getting closer to us. They gain access through Poland, they could help the Union of Soviet Republics. Um hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Issues we need to do. Trade, sell, equipment, edit. Let's just remove some of the equipment so that our divisions can actually be built, trained. We really need to uh, kick up our division production. Take over the 50 more days. Your quantum territory is declared war on China. Okay. Lithuania joined the German Empire Congress. Oh, and the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia has called Lithuania as our enemy in Soviet civil war. Latvia joined. Oh. Jesus. We are completely on our own, guys. We have the Soviet Union proper here. Uh, Poland joined the German. Oh my god. Poland's our enemy. Let's us declare war. Hang on a second. Nordic Defense Council joined the German Empire Congress. God, the White Death. As war has come to White Finland, many hunters, Swiss Kunter, militiamen, and shooting club marksmen have taken up arms to fight off their oppressors. Finnish Sisu flows through them as they stem off enemy attacks, utilizing the Finnish nature to their advantage. Something that has come to be known by enemy soldiers as the White Death. This is a good opportunity for propaganda. That's from the Nordic Defense Council. Let warn us. Who is the Nordic Defense Council? Oh, it's Sweden. Really? Sweden? Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, we're not. Wait. Hang on a second. Let's do that, and let's, hang on, hang on, hang on, so you, anyway, we need to delete this front line, control, click, control, right. thirteen divisions, Okay, let's go send these 13 divisions to defend against the Nordic Council. Right, and we will do an offensive line. Right, from there to here. Right, that's our 13 divisions. Ah, uh, god, 13, because we got nothing to fear from here for now. How do we... Delete this front line. We we'll need to create another army to, for the eastern front. But, I mean, completely unexpected, we're now... More worried about Sweden. Jesus. Wait, is it part of the German thing? Yeah, so they're going to come. They're going to start coming up through here, aren't they? Jesus. Okay, maybe, maybe we can. Uh, offensive line. Hmm. 
Maybe we can push through here. Okay. Raider, we got nothing in here. Jesus Christ. 22nd of June. Hang on a second. This is taking a very strange turn, this thing. Let's do construction railways. Railways. up this railway network. I'm not sure if that will necessarily help without the supply hubs, but I hope it will. And then we just need to... Uh, actually, no, what we need to do is just sit here and defend, if I'm honest, rather than push here over wider territory. How about we push... Here, maybe we push and just set up defenses along this river here. We'll be in our domestic territory. We can just manually tell them to go there. Almina! Keskuste! Keskuste! I think actually yeah. I'm going to reassign these five divisions to this front. Um, to deploy. Taking time. Oh, the eastern available. Wait, okay, let's also just wait. Available planes in reserve. Basic medium airframe. What is this? Okay, oh let's just double check that focus because it gave us foreign aircraft. Give us 1000. Targeting, okay, for fighters. Let's have a look. Okay, let's just unpause. Buy equipment. Okay, no one's actually selling airplanes. Okay. Simo Hayaha credited as the White Death, the Vipuri sniper Simo Hayaha, who is often referred to by our other soldiers as Taika Ampuya. The magic shooter for his impressive marksmanship is now also being accredited as the White Death, which up until now has been referring to the harshness of the Finnish nature and its people by our enemies. And the press is pushing this new narrative strongly. What should our official stance be? We should propagate tales of this modern Finnish hero, gain base war support, political power, command power, and manpower plus 12,000, or the White Death is the embodiment of Finland, not some person. Means we are the White Death, which grants winter attrition minus 20%, division defense on core territory plus 5. Only for 180 days, though. No, no, no. We should propagate tales of this modern Finnish hero. Okay, improved anti air and anti tank. Perfect. That means we go to production. Okay, anti tank. Anti air. Okay, yeah, we're using our construction company stuff. Okay, let's upgrade. 
Okay, we'll put these on uh, infantry support weapons and improved infantry equipment. 120 days. A little bit behind, to be honest. Um, okay, BTT. This is our uh, artillery. Do advanced trajectory calculations. Right, hydraulic recall system. Wait. Hydraulic recall system upgrade is yes. okay. It's reliability. Lithuania. That's called Nordic Defense Council. Our enemy in Soviet Lithuanian war. Union of Soviet Republics. Okay, they're actually pushing okay, through Latvia into Soviet Union. Okay, that's interesting. What we could do then with the Swedish divisions here. Yeah, we are actually fighting. Oh, they're advancing on us. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. We're still getting ready okay. we're democratic like all the way what happened yeah it's still democratic getting non-aligned bastards apologies for any swedes watching us but come on that is that was not expected these guys are completely out of supply. Seriously. So do actually edit and let's add an infantry battalion to all of these. That's another thousand men. be able to push them back here we need to they can actually fight if they get through Leningrad we need this focus on here ASAP and we need to defend uh, right here I think we have this radar here to de detect them coming Soviet Union needs to hold. <laughs> it's become our biggest ally, funnily enough. The longer they can hold off the civil war and all the Germans, the Poles, all of these. I guess our role now is to push on into Sweden and trying to suck up, you know, suck away as many forces up here as we can. Wow. The tables Almira. turned. Let's at least try and cut these off. Elve. 
need to train, we need more trains. How long does it take? Uh, processing. Production. How long does it take? Four per year. Give me. Uh, okay, let's see. Infantry wise, we are upgrading as much as we can. We're up on our support companies, armored trains, maybe signal companies, maybe. Don't have any space for armor. Sure, artillery, no-brainer. Upgrade. Seventy days for everything. Hundred days for these. Okay, nice. Surround these guys, these ones, and kill them. We have here like one division, one. Um, fuel, fuel capacity. I can't believe this. Cannot believe this. Ulu, no, we need this lappy. Check the logistics of this. Let's motorize this supply hub as much as we can. And I think we just. Supply hub here. We need to get this supply hub, yeah. I actually. But we need to stabilize the line along this river, and then push on to here. And so, uh... This guy? That's fine, let's maybe push. Deal with that later. How on earth are they winning? Low supply, their low supply. Help them out, guys. Let's get in there. needed 60 we have we have the trucks we need trains that is a major oversight on our part by the way major i'll even put two here we are upgrading upgrading right okay we are upgrading and producing everything we can producing 2.8 run an enemy division Attacking from multiple directions. Aim. Take care of these. Overrun them. Seymour Haya has been injured and brought off the battlefield. Reports have come in that Haya has been severely wounded after an explosive bullet fired by a hostile soldier hit his lower left jaw. And whilst thought to have been dead, has made it back to a nearby base camp to report his safety. He cannot, however, continue fighting, but he has done enough service for an eternity of gratitude from the Finnish people. 
Nevertheless, he's a true Finnish hero. Experience, gate base wall support, yes. Woods, doctrines available. Integrated support. Soft attack. Bangladesh declared war on Pakistan. We have 18 divisions in here. Okay, we need to be really careful here. Come on, let's get this. We'll defend this. We'll try. I mean, do we have any? Where can I deploy them? Let's put them here. 25 airplanes, though. There's a strategic air map. Where is 25 airplanes? Tactical bomber have the order transferring to Usima. Mexico Catholic Mexico took eight states. Mexican Socialist Republic was annexed. Democratic Party. Democratic has been put in power. Republic Paraguay. Okay. Catholic Mexico. Fascist. Okay. okay. Oh, no, no, no. We have Germans here. No. This is okay, we have taken a good position here. Yes, Gusta. Novgorod defensive operation. What is honestly what is going on? Just entrench here and plan. It doesn't really matter. We're losing convoys, of course. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is really bad, though. Oh. Come on, where is that focus? Come on. Or at least undeployed units oh, I can't believe they actually landed oh, there's two more no, but we can't we can't leave Helsinki we have to just get entrenched there oh no this is this is really bad come on This could actually be the end. Could be the end. What is this unit? Okay, that's not too bad. Almina! Almina! Specialist Engineer, Fortress Buster, Veteran Jäger, Trickster, Ranger, Defense, no, we need someone balanced now, Trickster, Commando, Mountaineer, Brilliant Strategist, Organizer, Winter Specialist, we need a Ranger, 
defense and logistics. Don't have a kidding me. Went to specialist organizer. Brilliant strategist. Attack and planning. We need someone balanced. Trickster. Commando. Ranger. Defense. Okay, I think this guy will have to be the best. We need the ranger. Because we're fighting in a forest. This, is, this could be our downfall. I mean, what can we do? The Soviet Union wasn't going to uh, going to falter here. Let's try and at least get in here. And this guy at least needs to get in here and defend the river. Three Finnish units in Osima modified by. Okay, we need this. We need more units. Continuing militarism society will ensure that our people are the strongest they can possibly be. By incorporating paramilitary forces, we can promote military values across all layers of society. From those too young to join to those who are perhaps too old. Recruitable population, division training time, and three Finnish units. That's what we need. And we also need to maybe the Micheli. And let's just deploy, deploy. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna deploy all of these. Because right. there is. We need to start fighting right now. There really isn't any uh, any option here. Ah, oh, all of our forts. Ah, uh, this is a disaster. An yeah, absolute disaster. I guess they landed here. Yeah, we should have defended. That was our fault. We should have defended Vipuri. We should have put these guys on, like, defense. And this is what we need to actually... If we get Vipuri back... Evacuation of children as the winter war with the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia rages on. The Finnish government has made a difficult decision to evacuate our nation's children to Norway for their safety. This heart-wrenching decision was made in light of the constant danger faced by civilians during the conflict. The, eva the evacuation efforts have been a massive undertaking with countless families being separated and children leaving their homes behind. But we must remember that their safety is of utmost importance and we must do everything in our power to protect them from harm. As the Finnish people endure the harsh realities of war, we must hold on to hope and trust that our children will be safe and taken care of during this difficult time. The road ahead may be long and challenging, but we must persevere and stand strong in the face of adversity. Save our children. Oh, stability is 30%. Are you kidding me? Okay, we need to... How about we uh, improve relations with Norway? We need to, uh, where is our spy or something? Where is our man? Propaganda network is required. Build Intel network in Oslo. Let's try to get them into the war. That would be another way we can win. I think 
maybe we do try to push onto here. It says inferior enemy. Estimated plan value 70%. Division still preparing, minus 10. We are stronger here. Okay, we're about... We're stronger. Okay. Okay, let's at least contain them for now. Maybe the Soviet Union will... Oh, the Soviet Union needs to get its act together. We need to get Vipuri. That's what we need. And contain this. Almina! Finish planning. Where is the like the planning indicator? I don't even know. with this and try to draw some forces away from there. Mm. Okay, we're much weaker. Oh, okay. This is gonna be game over, to be honest. How, like... That is unexpected. Completely, completely unexpected. They're just now like pouring into here with these German soldiers. These aren't even our best divisions. Yeah, I think it's going to be... I mean, yeah, we'll push them off. Push them back here, but... Bulgarian government supports the Imra. Earlier today, the Bulgarian leaders Boris III publicly announced that the government will seek to negotiate with Ivan Mihailov, one of the most important chiefs of the internal Macedonian revolutionary organization. A cessation of hostilities between the IMRO and the Bulgarian authorities. According to the Minister of Interior Affairs, Bulgaria needs to cooperate with this organization to liberate the many Bulgarian Macedonians living in Yugoslavia and Greece. A bold statement that will undoubtedly re reignite the Balkan conflict and increase tension between the great powers that hold interest in these regions. It seems that the Balkan conflict is going to reignite. Well, I feel for them, but... We have much bigger issues to worry about. Frankly, I think... Yeah, I think we can just speed up. Unfortunately, our best late plans went to waste because we didn't protect Vipuri. It's a major oversight. That is a shame. Yeah, they're much stronger than us. Yeah, because now they've linked up. Yeah, and since they've linked up, uh, we didn't have any forces. Those bunkers there. Yeah, well, I think we did everything right, to be honest, guys, but uh, that was 
Yeah, we did one mistake was here, but to be honest, even if we were defending it, like with this amount of force, they could have landed, frankly, in Helsinki and won. And we just don't have the divisions. We could have, I guess, pulled back maybe five divisions to the south. If only, if only that focus finished just a month earlier, we could have also won. I mean, right now there's... I feel like there's almost no chance. Another 40 days for those three divisions. We can't move any of these because they will land on top of them. And try and yeah, keep pushing these guys away just so we can... Just so we can potentially pull them out of here and into Sweden. This is the end of Soviet republics. I mean, and our hope is the Soviet Union. They need to get their act together. But, I mean, these guys are just pouring in there. But, I mean, it's Poland and Germany. Lithuania, Latvia, I guess it's not much. Yeah. Hmm. Not really sure what to do yet. The front line is so wide now. They got airplanes. We are fighting back, of course, but... Yeah, but if they push through our defensive line... There really isn't much we can do. And supply. Supply lines are another thing we kind of... Didn't pay due attention to. Well, I think I'll just speed up, guys. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Let's just see how this plays out, but I think we already know the answer. Peace negotiations with the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia. Finnish communist Hela Wilonki has contacted our government and offered her help in establishing contact with the Soviet regime. A meeting has been set up in a secret location in Sweden where we'll be offered the opportunity to cede territory in return for continued Finnish sovereignty. Finnish forces are rapidly depleting and previous attempts to open a line of communication has been unsuccessful. This may be our only hope for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. There's no winning this war. White Finland offers concessions. If Union of Soviet Republics accepts, Finland agrees to Soviet demands and cedes Karyala, Salia, and Pizzamo. So we see Pizzamo, Karyala, and Salia. What? Salia? Sima, Kimi, Kel. Salia and Pizzamo becomes. We must keep fighting. There is no winning this war. Okay, guys, let's see. White Finland and the Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia have signed white peace. So, who are we at war with now? With White Finland. Okay, we're still at war with Germany, though. So we ceded all of this. And these. Oh, which, I mean... What did that really do, though? Okay, that left the Germans here on their own. So, uh... 
we can get that back. We can get that back. That's not a massive loss. If we can get all of this back, we will just declare war on them when the Soviet Union is fighting them. And we're a little bit stronger. But right now, actually, all of these guys are out of power, out of supply. We are in supply. Well, they can get supplied from their allies here, I guess. I'm still pushing onto here. That's fine, maybe we... I mean, if we can get Finland... Oh, uh, Sweden. We can invade Sweden successfully. That will more than compensate for these lands we lost. And these... Uh, Yeah, let's see, actually. Let's see, maybe we can salvage this. What do we need? To? 20 more days for an extra three divisions here. Oh, yeah. Maybe they will pull back. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's. Uh, I think we'll maybe cut the episode here. And we'll take stock of the situation. I, you know, close up in the next episode. So thanks for watching. And I hope to see you yeah, in the next episode. Thanks, guys.